Hey everybody, it's Dr. Doni from Vita Chiropractic. So tip of the week Thursday, this week we're talking about leg lengths. Now if you're a patient of the practice, um, you may remember on your first visit, um, I would have checked your leg lengths. Some of my patients, depending on what's going on with their spines and pelvis, some of the patients, I check their leg lengths at every single visit. Now why do I do that? I'm gonna give you a visualization. Um, I'm totally exaggerating, but I want you to see um, what happens in the body. We're looking at pelvic um, balance and pelvic alignment. So if my pelvis is out of alignment, imagine my pelvis is tilted. Look what's going to happen to my leg lengths. So if my right pelvis is higher than my left, it's tilted, it's going to appear like my right leg is shorter. So I get patients to lie on their stomach, I check that, and that's an indication. Of course I ask, have you had any um, you know, traumas to your leg, did you have a broken leg, anything like that, uh, to rule that out, of course. But if everything is fine there, then it's the pelvis out of alignment, then we know um, with chiropractic care, I work on adjusting that area. Um, and the goal is to balance the pelvis, balance the spine. By doing that, it removes nerve interference and uh, people get healthier. So that's why we check your leg lengths. If you didn't know that, now you know why. Now I wanna talk briefly about why your pelvis would ever shift out of alignment in the first place. And I'm gonna give you a personal uh, story about myself to give you this example. So when I was younger, I was a competitive figure skater. From around, I started skating around the age of five and I skated competitively until I was about 18. Now when I skated, the right leg was my landing leg. You always, um, go in the same direction. If you're, if you're not a figure skater, you may not know this, but you always jump in the same direction. You always have the same landing leg. So every time I landed, it was on the right leg. So I would slam this, um, think about the gravitational pull on this hip and pushing it down. And then if I were to fall, which unfortunately sometimes would happen with me, um, I would always fall on this hip. So every single time I was jamming this hip, and so if you think of the momentum when you're jumping and landing and falling, that was a lot of pressure on this um, hip and pelvis. So I didn't get adjusted at the time, but I guarantee my pelvis would have been uh, out of alignment like this because to this day, um, every single time I get adjusted every single week and I still have to get this uh, right side adjusted to balance my pelvis. It is just such a deep pattern in my body for years and years and years of skating. Now, why that's important is imagine I'm walking around like this. Imagine I go my entire life walking around in balance like this. Imagine what's gonna to happen to my pelvis and my back when I'm 80, 90 years old, okay? If that imbalance is gonna stay there, it's gonna, everything gets tighter on the side, it's higher, higher. So by getting adjusted every single week, I'm working on creating more balance. My goal for that is not only for my healthy nervous system, but I wanna be healthy when I'm 80 years old, 90 years old, 100 years old. I wanna be able to walk and move and do the things I wanna do. And I know staying on top of this is gonna allow me to have that future. So that's, uh, I hope that gives you a little bit of more information about you know, my patients, why I check your pelvis at your visits um, and why these things can happen. It's postural things over time that can create these imbalances and chiropractic care is wonderful at keeping things in check. All right, if you have questions, let me know. Have a wonderful day.